I am feeling better. <clears throat> it's a process. You know, keeps going and going. <sighs> I have to make a community post. Hello, Nadia. Hello, T-Rex. Hello, Emeryn. Yeah, something like that. Okay, let's see. Is this still connected? Yeah. Anyway. I might need to adjust my uh, audio levels. Um, trying to figure it out. Um, well, that's turned all the way up. Let's see, my voice is peaking at about minus... Oh yeah, I guess that is a little quiet. What if I get here and then... Uh, I think if I turn this up, I risk clipping is the thing. I don't think I ever had any louder than this. Huh. Well, I guess I could go... Mic aux. I could push it here a touch. Okay. Yeah, I'm just noticing, you know... I am coming in a little bit lower than I would like. Um on the sliders here, or on the, uh, the, the meters here. Um, what if I just put, like, 3 dB on there? What if I just put, like, 6 dB on there? Like, what about there? There we go. That's maybe more like I was thinking. <clears throat> Oops. Well, that was a clip. Oh, maybe that's the problem. Don't I have a limiter? Oh, I do have a limiter. Let me, um, you're gonna have to forgive me because the best way to test this is to, uh, the best way to test this is to cough. So if I put that there, <clears throat> there we go. Okay. Now I can't actually, can't actually overdrive it. This stuff's so hard. Anyway, yeah, I mean, I was just, uh, you know, trimming it for my own preferences. So, we're back to the ZX Spectrum, and uh, this is obviously DNA Warrior. Um, collect keys to open junctions. Retrieve all eight DNA. Um, uh, Sinclair or Kempston. Okay. A strive for excellence, a fight for existence. Kind of sounds like the slogan of, like, a retail chain. Anyway, I was playing this earlier, a little bit. It's weird. It's like a shmup. But also not, I don't know. You'll see what I mean. Okay, so I gotta speed up. I'm not pressing any buttons, by the way. You just sort of auto-fire. Um, I think there might... I think this might be a Gradius. Like, I think there might be a way to... Oh, okay, all right. Um, you have to, uh, when you pick up the little energy objects, it's like Gradius. You get, um, it buys the next um, power-up. But, uh, <clears throat> okay, watch this. We're at the end, and we're not scrolling anymore, and there's nowhere to go. But hold up. Wait. I don't know why it takes so long. 
There's got to be some trick to it that I don't know. Come on. There we go. All right, boy turns around, and now we go back the other way. I don't like it. Anyway, now there's asteroids. So I don't know what the fire button is supposed to do, because I'm not doing anything. Well, actually, let me rephrase that. It seems to me like when you just sort of move around, you do fire automatically. But if you press the fire button, I think you fire more? It's kind of weird. DT770 Pro. Uh, Hang on, what do I have? I don't think I have those ones. Uh, No. No, these are uh, Audio Technicas. Um, I cannot quite remember what they are. Um, but they're the same ones that are used on Games Done Quick. Oops, I got owned. An interesting thing about this game uh, so far is that uh, it actually does have a life bar rather than you just dying in one hit. So there's that. Um, I haven't quite figured out what I'm supposed to do though because it seems like, I don't know. Um, like, I only saw the one DNA, and I guess I have to pick up multiple DNAs to proceed. Um, as well as, like, a key to proceed to the next area, and I haven't seen any of that. And I don't know if I get it by killing things or what. I suspect what I have to do is basically travel to the ends of the level back and forth a few times, and eventually it'll spawn the, um, the pickup that I need. Anyway, it's certainly a more interesting, um, oh... Wait, we're just here? Does this just continue indefinitely? Uh, indefinitely until you get hit. Oh, and there we go. Anyway, if you ever touch the edge of the screen, it'll try and turn in that direction, I guess, is what it seems like. Okay, so now we're back here, and it's just the asteroids again. If you're mid-turn, there's just, like, nothing you can do about, uh... There's nothing you can do about, um stuff flying towards you because you don't really have full control it's, kind of, it's just kind of weird it seems again um here's that word again ambitious um Oh, yeah, so about the camera. Let me see if I can do this. There we go. So I'm holding my hand up to my chin right now, and now I'm going to put it back down. All right? And I'm going to put my hand up here. It's gone. Okay, now it's back. I'm going to put my hand up here, and I'm going to put it back. You seeing this? How wild is that? Oh, oh, there we go. It's, um, yeah, uh, let me see, let me move some wires on my desk here and see if the problem changes. I think it will. Nope. As soon as I put my hand up here. Yeah. I, I don't have any explanation for it. It's one of the strangest damn things I've ever seen in my life. Um, what if I, I push myself away from the desk, right? And it goes blank for a second. Okay, but we're stable. What if I do this again? Yeah, it's like having my hand in about this area causes it to cut out. Uh, so this is actually a camcorder that I have hooked up through my PicoLink composite SDI encoder. Um, so I've got it on a tripod over there. This is incredible. Look at this. It's just like cutting out randomly. I have no idea. I've never seen anything like this in my life. It's, it's so damn strange. Uh, let's see. Where does this coax cable go? Um... Okay, that one goes over there. Let's try, let's move that coax cable. You know, it's possible, yeah, that it has something to do with the signal level. But this looks... M 
Could that be it? Well, if that's it, then I could try adjusting the um, attenuation. I think that's going to make it too bright, yeah. But let's go over here. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think you might be right that it's just the brightness. Right? We could try and test that with... Uh, I don't know, though. Sometimes it does seem just random. But let's get a piece of paper out here. Yeah, I don't know. That seems like even more white. And then sometimes I think it'll cut out even like right here. Anyway, it's weird. It's very weird. I never see anything like it. Um, I don't think I can adjust the iris on this camera. Let me check. No, I'm, uh, the music is just a YouTube video of some SNES tracks I'm playing. Because uh, there's no music in 99% of uh, ZX Spectrum games. I don't think I have any other cameras here. I may just have to give up on this one, which is a bummer. All my cameras are at the studio. Um, do I have anything else? Anything I can switch to? I don't think so. Hmm. Oh, yeah, this is, uh, yeah, I think it's DNA Warrior, uh, and yeah, it's for the Spectrum. Alright, well, anyway. Uh, so yeah, I cannot figure out how to play this game. Um, I'm gonna say it looks sort of ambitious, but not actually necessarily good. Um, so let's move on. It's just straight up Final Fantasy. Oh, well, everyone, uh, he's here. Um, here, Gibbs will bring the overall brightness of the stream down. Hello, Gibbs. It's hard to see him. Gibbs, what are you? Why are you standing like that? Be normal. Put your damn paws up there. There you go. Why are you slinking? You're slinking on my lap. He's slinking. Ah. Skibs, everyone. He's such a big boy, and he's purring really hard right now. We're bouncing. Gibbs is a good boy. He's not. He's constantly trouble, but... Hello. Let me, let me pause this. I don't know if anybody got that. Just trying to get trying to get some some purrs in there. Hey Gibbs, you wanna you wanna talk into the mic?
he's a good cat. He's also very inconvenient because he's not going to move from this position unless he gets on my desk and lays on my keyboard, uh, which I can't stream if he's laying on my keyboard. Doesn't that doesn't work? Um, rah, 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 rah. All right, Gibbs, I'm going to have to kick you out. Or unless, I know you won't, but if you were willing to go lay on the side of my keyboard instead of on top of it, that would be a different story, but I know you won't do that. All right, let's give it a shot, though. There you go. You can lay there. Oh, is he doing it? Is he actually going to be a good boy? Lay down, Gibbs. He's not he's not quite laid down yet, so I'm still managing him. <laughs> Thank you, T-Rex. Okay. Uh so this is a Spanish ZX Spectrum game called I think D thirty seven. I'm fully expecting this to be a text adventure, which I will not be able to play. Yep. Oh man, the prompt is a little bomber. Okay, moving on. Daffy. Daffy Cafe. W-S-O-P. W-S-O-P, okay. Start game. Oh gosh, this looks like a mess. Uh, soup. Wait, they, they changed what they wanted at Able 4? Okay, so this is, um... Uh, shoot. What's the name of that game? A game about cooking. And serving. Oh, man. Good guess on my part. I grabbed lamb, and they want lamb. Come on, someone asked for pork. Boy, the um the responsiveness to controls is really poor. Ugh. This is definitely a basic game, I'm sure of it. Do y'all think that's the toilet on the left side there? I feel like it probably is. Okay. There's a bunch of extra people down there. Can I go up in here? I collected something. There we go, I did it. I think we've seen the entire game. This looks like a basic game. Boy, howdy. There it is. <laughs> yep, that's Staffy Cafe. Uh, brilliant stuff. All right, let's take a look at... I have to switch machines here because the next game is for 128. Uh... Oh, man. Ugh. God, the level of hubris of, uh, not hubris, but arrogance, I guess, of hacking a ROM in order to stick an advertisement for your website in it is just incredible.
did an all right job. Please wait loading. Forgot to announce that I was streaming on the Discord. There we go. Um, uh, b -b 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 Kempston. A player two. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, you can toggle player one, player two game. Okay, good. Remixed by Mata. What does that mean? I think that was supposed to say loading. Now, I've never watched Doctor Who in my entire life. Uh, I feel like he probably doesn't really have a gun, generally. Um, but I mean, look, you know. You tell me, right? Remarkably responsive platforming. Like, I'm very impressed by the, uh... Ah, shit. As, as with most uh, British games, it's virtually impossible to not get hit. Oh, wait, that's a door. Ugh, of course it is. Oh, man, this... And so this is... This is like, um, the, you know, platoon game for Famicom. Um, you know, you're just wandering around in this endless maze, can't figure out where you are. Um, constantly being assaulted by thousands of enemies whose shots you can't dodge. Look at this. What opportunity do I have to actually shoot at this thing? Oh, hey, Zephy. Thanks for joining. We have not played amazing games here on the stream today. The ZX Spectrum has not been the hero of, of the world of gaming today. This is rough. I've had people comment before, like, wow, you spent way more time on this game than I would have. Um, and, you know, sure, I do that a lot. But the thing is, that's for games that seem like they maybe had a little bit of, uh, uh, a little bit of, uh, you know, thought and passion put into it, and, um, stuff like this feels like it probably didn't, really, um, it's mostly just sludge, like, the art is good, but gameplay is just terrible, and I don't really think that you needed the benefit of, uh, uh, 2020 hindsight, um, to realize that having enemies that literally never stop shooting is basically impossible. Like, you you really, you can't do that. Now, on the other hand, we are actually doing some decent, like, later generation platforming here. So, I mean, there's that. Um, that's interesting. How did I, wait. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, well. Wait, I got a gun upgrade? I swear I had a gun upgrade there for a second. So, can I kill this thing, or... I guess not. Alright, well, whatever. I, I regained health earlier, but I don't know how I did it. Um, yeah, I love Night in the Woods. That's my review of this game. The, um, the platform physics are, while not... Uh, oh, maybe I did die? I don't know, I don't remember dying. Um, but, uh, uh, wow, look at that. He's actually, like, crawling along the, uh, roof line there. Along the gutter there. 
What is this from? Okay, uh, that makes sense. So this is a late game. This is from 92, which would explain why, uh, like, the platform physics work at all. Um, so I guess this, uh, I guess this object here uh, acts as a uh, ladder. You can sort of stand in various places throughout it. Oh, okay. I think when you lose a life, you just instantly, um, your uh, health just recharges instantaneously. Because I'm pretty sure I just died there. Cool. You can run as fast as your bullets. Okay, we got some bombs. I'm sure I won't know how to use them. Oh, there we go. Um, again, I don't know how I did that, and I think I'm out now. Oh, no, I've got, like, 15 of them. Gibbs is, Gibbs is rolling over onto the keyboard, so let's see how this goes. Credits? Naturally. Okay, this game isn't good. Um, hmm, wow. Uh, wow. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, advance here, because, wow... Oh boy. Oh, give me a second. Gibbs, I, I have my hand on the desk, and Gibbs is uh, laying with his head on my hand. So there's that. Wow, that's that's the sound of the audience cheering. That's what audiences sound like to me. Um, I'm get yeah. Uh, so there's a whole series of Daily Thompsons something or other, um, decathlon, Olympic challenge, and super test, which I'm guessing are all basically the same game. Um, and yeah, they're gonna be. Wow, that's rough. Um, and yeah, this is just gonna be tap the button as fast as you can. Let's see. Nope, that's not it. Okay, it's left, right. Man. Foul. Okay, yeah, so uh, there's that, and then there's Olympic Challenge. These are all Ocean games, and as I recall, Ocean is terrible. Gibbs, Gibbs, take your head off the keyboard, please. I can't, I can't have you put your head on the keyboard. Here, you can put it on this. There you go. I, lo I love, I love Gibbs. He's a good cat. Oh, uh, I haven't been doing these streams for months because everything's been a disaster. Okay. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Some of the music is terrible. This this one's actually not not the worst.
Now the game itself, of course, is going to be crap. Yeah? I don't know why the I don't know why the joystick doesn't work, but yeah, is this what we're doing? Is this wow? Hardcore gaming, everyone. Yeah, you know, I guess that is kind of a piss jar, isn't it? I don't know how else to interpret that. Okay. Time up. Why? What did I do and why did I do it? Sit-ups. Uh, do you think it's going to be the exact same game? Yep. Wow. This is the entire game. It's just going to be this over and over. Oh, thanks, Joe. Yeah, that, that was entirely opportunistic, so, uh, you know, uh, maybe somebody will send me something like that in the future. I actually got two or three nasty comments. People were like, oh, every channel turns into an unboxing channel. And I'm like, look, if somebody sends me a box of stuff, what do you want me to do with it, right? <laughs> All right, uh... I'm going to move on for this. This is the third Daily Thompson game. Uh, and this one uh, is for the 128, so we should get some, some music, most likely. Yeah, my camera keeps cutting out, uh, we think, because when there's too much white on the screen, um, it uh, it basically pushed it above above the uh, like signal specification limits. Someone suggested I try turning the lights down a little bit. But I think it's just going to compensate. I think it's just going to uh, overexpose and push it right back up. But let's see. Oh. You know, maybe that fixes it. I mean, of course, it's now really noisy, etc. Evening, Enter. Uh, the camera is a, uh, well, here, let me see if I could just show you. Uh, it's just a, uh, a camcorder I've got hooked up to an SDI converter. Wow. That doesn't really work. Oh. Well, so you can't see this because the camera angle. But Gibbs is just, like, completely laid the hell out across my arm and on my keyboard. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. I mean, it's a little better than it was. What? What is... What? This is the interface for entering your name. Really? It's incredible. Um Do I do I get to continue? Um That was weird. Guess what? It's the exact same game as every other 80s uh, athletics game. Press the buttons as fast as you can. Oh, whoops, I'm the guy in the top. Which means I've lost, but that's okay. Uh... Yeah, nope. Oh... Okay, we're done with all of those. 
Dallas. Celed. Oh yeah, okay, this is based on Dallas, the uh, uh, soap opera. Which I'm not surprised by, and I'm guessing this is not going to really be playable. Espirit un momento, gracias. <laughs> yeah, it's a rancid sound. Oh, hello, Niss. Hmm, what could it be doing? I've got instantaneous tape loads, so... I mean, apparently... Uh, apparently Dallas was fantastically popular. Don't soap operas do that, like, every week? That's what I've always heard. This is this is absolutely some kind of strategy game. Alright, so anyway. So I'm flipping through games beginning with D at the moment. And, uh... I'm sure I've played some of these before. But I'm not sure which ones. Of course, like, Dam Busters, I'm pretty sure I played. Or maybe I've just... Oof. Boy, that's not very good. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's not very good. Huh. Joystick, yep. Uh, sign on, Commander. Wait, is this a flight sim? Okay, I think I hit the ground. Pretty sure I hit the ground. Yeah, I don't know if the font is displaying the way it's supposed to. I really feel like that's probably not how the font is supposed to display. Is this a 128 game? I don't believe so. Let me restart it with 48K. No, it's still like that. Could that be on purpose? I can I cannot imagine. Okay, so my t my altimeter is the lower left, so we're at like 400, 450, 500 feet, say. Oh, and we're sinking, and we're climbing. There we go, level flight. Huh. Wait, was U.S. gold not from the U.S.? I never checked. Man, how I... So this is not like a full flight sim, of course. Like, I can't... I can't pull any higher up than this. It only lets you turn about... Um, 30, 40 degrees to either side. Oh, wait. Is there something stuck to my w windshield, or is that supposed to... No? What's going on? Oh, something down there. Is that the dam? Is that where we're going? Might be. Sure looks like. Engine fires, not extinguished, spread to the rest of the plane. Wow, what on earth? That was, um... That was impressively stupid. Um, let's, let's move on. Dam eaters. I'll... Oh. Press buttons one through three. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It's one of those games where you can only have one bullet on the screen at a time. And so if you get the timing wrong, you have to wait. Ah, oh, shit. The 
This is like not that bad an idea for, you know, a little time waster arcade game. But I think it's just bad form to make a game where the the basic principle is hey, this machine on this machine we only have one byte available to uh represent the uh position of a bullet, so you only get one. Enemy reinforcement. Are there two now? There are two of them. Okay. This game sucks. I think, um... Probably get... This is probably a... Like a... Not a type-in. I mean, I guess it came on a tape at some point, but... Uh, looks like it was published by Pan Books. So, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, I am not playing as the Gators. Uh, okay, that is, um, what is that, Chinese Checkers? Uh, this is another Pan Books title. And this is going to be a real basic, uh, oh, is this just Defender? Oh, this is just Defender. Okay. And it crashed on top of that. Um, Damien, oh, <laughs> you must destroy Damien, son of the devil, while he is still a baby and thus relatively powerless. Commands. Oh, this is rough. N S E. Okay, so directions and then up and down. R to redescribe. I for inventory, and then it's also a text adventure. Yeah, it's a text adventure. Okay. This is another text adventure. I think. Whoa. Um, okay. This game was called The Damned Forest. Um, but I guess it's about Darkula. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Did we die? Did we did we get Draculed? Okay. Let's move on. Ugh. Damn. Goddamn intro screens. That's Dracula. Ab. This is Dan Dare, pilot of the future. Hello, Gibbs. I'm sorry that you all can't see Gibbs. Kempston joystick. Okay. Fire to play. It's like a comic book thing going on here. Digby remains on the ship and awaits Dan's return. Dan is now in Sector 1. Okay. So, so far, alright, um, Spectrum, uh, Spectrum platform games are uh, sort of notorious for being very difficult to control. This one actually has fairly solid controls. Um, and it's not even that late a game. It's from 88. Okay, so I guess we have to go down inside. Um, additionally, it appears I have limited ammo. Because ah. that gauge... So the bottom gauge is my life meter, and the one above that with the tick marks... Um, appears to be my uh, ammo. Uh, I'm going to go the other direction and see if I can shut that off. Hmm. That sure looks like I should be able to interact with it. Nope. I think you're just supposed to tank some damage there. Well, but I don't seem to have a reason to be in here. Maybe uh, I can get caught and go to jail. <laughs> It's pretty neat, honestly. A lot of interesting stuff going on here. Oh. Oh, there... Oh, oh, you only have about two hours to complete the game, is what it is. So, every time you, uh, quote-unquote, die, 
you actually just get taken back to jail and you lose 10 minutes. I can't... It's really hard to turn around, though. Because he's got this in-between state, and it's hard to get him to go into that state. So I have to assume that I'm supposed to do something here, but I don't know what it is. I'm going to have to check the manual, because uh, this is actually fairly intriguing. But obviously, um, I've run out of things I can do. What happens if I run out of ammo? So I'm out of ammo now. Now what? Huh. I think that counts as dying. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. So Dan Dare, Pilot of the Future. Let's look this up. Uh, okay, 86, actually. Um, based on the classic British comic strip Dan Dare, which I've never heard of. Uh, Wikipedia says I have to progress through the levels acquiring the five pieces of an explosive device. Uh, and each time that you collect a piece, it will open up more of the level so you can go get the next piece. Um... And there's a time limit. Apparently there was a C64 port where you just punch guys instead of shooting them. This was well re this was well reviewed, which is not surprising at all. It looks um it's got much higher quality uh many things than uh most of most of the stuff on the spectrum. I'm just looking for the manual. Compilations, titles, here we go. Instructions. Okay. Okay, jump, duck, left, right. Ugh. Unsurprisingly, there's no real instructions. Mm. This is always the case. Um, there's no real instructions on, uh, yeah, the, the camera does that. Nothing I can do about it. Um, there's no real instructions on what you're supposed to do, um, as far as, like, so this thing here, I'm sure I can interact with it, but I don't know how. What's the deal? What do I do? Because I've done everything. Like, I've done every single possible thing. Now what? I've gone this way, I've gone the other way. There's only like three rooms. I've jumped, I've ducked. Now what? It really feels like there's got to be something I'm missing that they just didn't write in the instructions for no reason. Just basically no reason at all. All right, I obviously have to fix that camera. Um... This was a cute idea, but it's not working. Give me a second. You know, people are always saying, uh, people are always saying, uh, uh, Oh, why don't you use those old cameras for streams and whatnot? Uh, why don't you use them for actual, you know, videos? I'm like, <laughs> this is why. Because it's just bullshit. You just have problems. You know, it's old stuff. It's analog. Uh, it's a mess. So, yeah, um, there's no there's no instructions in the manual that even remotely attempt to explain uh, how to uh, how to play the game uh, beyond, oh, you can fire your gun. Like, that's not enough information. So now I'm going to watch a walkthrough. Okay, okay, I figured it out, and you would never, ever, 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 ever figure this out without being told. That shadow is not a shadow, it is an elevator shaft. 
Now, nobody would have figured, if we'd sat here for an hour, quote unquote, playing this game, nobody would have figured that out. The, the only way to learn about that would be to get told. That's just nuts. Like, why couldn't they have just put some stripes over it or some arrows or anything? Yeah, there we go. That's that's the game. Now, any th uh, there we go. So is this room just empty? You know, it's stuff like this that you you wonder. Like, there's no way someone thought that was okay. Like, there's no like the developers of this game. They put this game in front of somebody and they watched them run around for two hours. Uh, in frustration, not able to figure out what to do. And then they were like, yep, that's good, ship it. That had to have been what happened. There's there's no way that they got anybody to beta test this who figured out that that was an elevator shaft. I mean, look, there's a shadow right here next to me, right? There's a shadow from this wall here, so why wouldn't you read that as a shadow as well? Also, I'm out of ammo now, and I'm pretty much just screwed. Yeah, so this is not a good game. Um, okay, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna move on to another title. I'm kind of disappointed because this one looked good. Um, additionally, uh, we do also. I guess there was a second one in the series, Dan Dare Two, Mikon's Revenge. I'm guessing this is essentially the exact same game. Yeah, I don't get it. Why would the elevator not be behind the arrows? It makes no sense. It makes no sense. It's just absolutely bizarre. Um, and this is my point. Like, they they had they had to have realized that that was unintuitive. It's got to be on purpose. Whoa. Good luck. Wow, this is um this is very different. <sighs> okay, so again, we've got another potentially very interesting British game hampered by being British uh and for some reason like yeah, let's just put the player in an incredibly narrow uh incredibly narrow hallway where and then absolutely flood them with enemies. So that it's impossible to not get hit and impossible to shoot back at anything. Um, thus making all the work that we put in to what appears to be a explorable open world completely pointless. Because anybody who plays this is going to quit it within seconds. It doesn't help any that the, uh, hit detect uh, the collision detection on this is actually terrible. Um, like I don't know if you can tell, but the collision detection is just dreadful. Um... Wow, yeah, this is basically unplayable. Hello, Gibbs. And now Gibbs is up here pawing at my monitor. Ugh. This game looks like they put so much effort into designing it and, like, coming up with a... Um, well, I mean, obviously it's based on a comic, right? So some, you know, they didn't design the characters or anything, but still, it looks like they put a lot of effort into it and, uh, you know, probably hundreds and hundreds of hours of development, none of which I'm going to ever see because they just completely overload you with enemies and i don't know what the deal is with i don't know what the deal is with all these zx spectrum games where they're just like yeah we've made all this art and whoa that's really annoying i don't know what the deal is with all these spectrum games where they like i i don't i don't get it at at age 11 I would not have played that game for five seconds. I would have put that in. I would have immediately been swarmed by enemies, and I would have thrown the tape in the trash. I mean, that was unplayable then and now. Um, I, I, I don't know how to progress. Like, you just start the game, you instantly get completely swarmed by enemies, and then it's over. And there's no way to progress, because every time you run into a wall, like, yeah, I would just sit and stare at the wall. That's what I did as a kid when I didn't have anything good to do. Like, genuinely, um, I either read a book or I did nothing. Um, I mean, I, I had a NES and I had bad games for it and I didn't play them. <laughs> um, 
and I mean this this was a thing. Uh, there were games I played when I was a kid on every platform where I would start the game and I would play for like an hour and then it would hit a point where I couldn't progress. And it would turn out many years later, I would find out the trick was that I walked into this wall and I didn't walk into it at exactly the right pixel location, right? I was a you know, pixel high or a pixel low, so I couldn't proceed past it. And... Uh, <clears throat> I didn't go back and try them again. Like, I played them. I tried every single route, and then I remembered that I had tried all the routes, and I said, well, there's no point in continuing. I've tried all the routes. There's no way forward. I didn't go back and, like, let's try poking at this on every single pixel, and that's exactly what I would have had to do with this game. I would have, Like, the fact that I'm an adult and I know how these games are made um, uh, informed the fact that I needed to just poke at it for a while to find out whether they just really poorly coded the collision. Um, and sure enough, they did. But as a kid, there's no way I ever would have figured that out. I would have played this game for about 15 seconds, said, well, I can't go through any of the doors, and then never put the tape in again. And I would have been right to do so. Uh, this is Dan Dare 3. They made a third one. This is from 1990. I guess this is no better. Um, it's probably exactly the same. Well, not the same game, but just... Uh, that's weird. I already selected Kempston. Why am I selecting Kempston again? Anyway, this won't be the same game, but it'll be just as bad. Oh my god, look at the look at the like status bar up there. It's a mess. Oh, okay, there's like a gas tank. There's a gas pump there and you can just fill right back up. Oh, so like you could oh you can actually charge up your weapon in this one. That's cool. Okay, so this one, again, this whole series sort of suffers from this, but this has Game Boy Syndrome, where they've got, you know, the resolution is like 80 by 70 or something, but they're making characters that are extremely large and detailed. So if you look at it, so, so the, the weird little alien lamp to my left, that's solid, and the wall to the right of the stars there, that's solid. And the platform is solid, which means that of the available space that I just dropped into, this enemy takes up one quarter of it. There's literally no way to move without getting hit and by hit by him. Man, nah, they knew this sucked. Uh, well, that's not how that's supposed to look. Dandy. Campston. One player. All dungeons. This is Gauntlet. This is literally just Gauntlet which they filed the serial numbers off of. Um, and it's, you know, worse, also. This doesn't look as good. Interesting, though. Those are definitely enemies, but I'm not being swarmed by them. I don't know why. Oh, was that a bug? Oh, that was a bug, I think. Because I guess they are supposed to attack you. Oh, no, when you leave the screen and come back, they respawn? Oh, that does not work. You can't do that. Get some keys. Get some more keys. Oh, man, this is a mess. I mean, the Spectrum could not really uh, support Gauntlet. Not real Gauntlet. That wasn't going to happen. I guess this isn't that bad. Um, disappointing, if you were expecting or hoping for Gauntlet. Um, but not, truth be told, all that bad. Oh, there's teleporters. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I guess, okay, so there's no, there's no, like, I'm not consuming magic when I fire or anything. So I guess there's no reason not to just fire at everything. We can't go anywhere from here. We just have to teleport back. Uh, 
Dang it. I'm out of keys. And this wizard needs food badly. Well, not that badly, I guess. Okay, one more key, and I think I should go back and use it on the door that I passed on the way here. Yes. You can tell from my level of enthusiasm, this one is not sending me to the moon. Yeah, huh, huh. Mm. Mm. Wow, really? This predates Gauntlet? Really? 86? What? How is that possible? I could have sworn Gauntlet was older than that. Oh, okay. It's based on the Atari dandy. Okay, that makes more sense. I was confused. I'm used to games getting all ported simultaneously. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I guess I'll give it that. Well, Gauntlet's better. <laughs> hmm. Danger, 1987, Spanish. I have this very strong feeling this is going to be a uh, text adventure. Well, I'll never find out because I can't proceed. Danger Mouse. Wow. Uh, huh. This is very complicated. Like, the, uh, sorry. The game is simple, but the UI... Wait, am I... Ah, what's happening? Why isn't he shooting now? There we go. I don't exactly know what happened there. What is going on? Okay, so it seems like it periodically switches your weapon to manual fire instead of automatic. But I can't figure out what makes it fire. Like, sometimes it'll just do it, and I don't know why. Also, there's, like, a first-person view in the lower right. Fire! Fire, damn you! What, what is going on? This is so strange. Maybe I know what's wrong. Oh! Oh, 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 I get it. You have to, like, switch ammo types to match your target. Wow, that is obscure. Okay, so like, this is just kind of a time waster of a game, but uh, honestly, not that, not that bad, not terribly unclever, I suppose. Also, as a saving grace, although I imagine it's really a bug, um, every time you switch weapons, it slows down for a moment, uh, which kind of gives you a uh, um, moment of... Oh, okay, so it's a series of mini-games. Wait, is this a pitfall? Am I... 
Am I supposed to jump on the gator? I'm totally supposed to jump on the gator. What? Oh, come on now. Ah! This is hard. Kitties. That's a kitty over there. What do I do? Oh. Whoa. There, I won. Episode 3. But well, now it's an isometric exploration game? Whoa. What on earth? This is inscrutable. Not to mention the fact that I, I, like, this doesn't seem to be doing anything. When I do this, nothing, nothing seems to happen. So, am I having, like, a lights out fight with something? It doesn't seem to do anything. Boy, this is unintuitive. Yeah, this this whole thing is is just like this is I think this is what Ambien is. Okay, did I I have saved the world. Is that it? Did I win? Is that the whole game? That's the whole game. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, what the hell was all that? You have nothing. Whoopies. Whoa, what? Wait, so we have no choice but to just, uh, uh, drive through this, uh... Boy, this looks tedious. If you miss that turn there, you just get stuck in a spiral in this maze. Uh, kind of indefinitely. Let's see, am I gonna, is this gonna be an obstruction I'm gonna hit? Or is this good, actually? Okay, so that's a toll. Is that gonna restart the whole level? I'm guessing it will. Okay. Now what? Oh, wait, you could turn around? Oh, no, it's just that's, uh, okay. Got it. The little first-person views in these Danger Mouse games uh, are kind of, um, I, that's neat, I gotta say. Boy, this is not fast. Oh, okay, you can turn around uh, if you hold back when you run into a... Uh, if you hold down when you run into an obstruction. The noise makes me think I'm pedaling this car. Oh! Who's this? Oh! Oh! There's a real game here! Bubble Trouble. Okay, so this is like a reverse Donkey Kong sort of situation. Oh no. Where? 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 
Do I have a health meter, or is this just running out time or something? Okay. Goes up. Goes up. Ah, no, there's like an area of effect on the bubble bursts. Ah! What am I supposed to... How am I sp This is punishingly hard. God damn, is this hard. Oh, so if you, like, jump into the bubbles, they don't mess you up? No! Ah! Stop! Wow! This is the... This game is... This is the exact experience of being bullied. This game produces the precise sensation of someone playing keep away with your backpack. Okay, so it's just that the hit detection is ludicrously sensitive. Also, if you try to step sideways off the uh, ladder and you're not at the exact perfect top pixel, you just fall down. Because that's, you know, fun. Okay, the driving part was intriguing. This is... Utterly unnecessarily mean. There's just no reason to make the game like this. Like they've actually demonstrated they can make a better game, which is the real the real bastard thing about it. Like they've made it clear that it doesn't have to be like this, and that they chose to do it like this. Just to make it less fun. Timing here is just nuts. Wow. Okay, I got 26 whoopies. You can't duck. Man. Man. That was mean. <sighs> Oops. That area down there is gonna... If that's the only minigame in the whole thing, then uh, this game's a wash, but I strongly suspect... Uh, yeah, exactly. You Have Nothing is so uh, uh, just thematically appropriate. But um, that was labeled... That previous minigame was labeled uh, like Bubble Trouble, so this one, I'm sure, will be a different minigame. Uh, yeah, this is a different one. This is Air... I don't know if that's the name of the game or what, but uh, it looks easier, but I don't know. I guess we'll see. Okay, that's not really a problem. Oh, yeah, okay, this one seems a lot easier. Um, I just sort of flubbed the landing there. Yep. So we can get off here. Yeah, see, that's that's not nearly as um, much of a time loss. I don't think I can jump up from there, no. Nope. But, let me do that. Oh, damn ladder physics in this. Yeah, this is a Danger Mouse game. Um, second one I've played, and uh, they're both kind of... The first one was nonsense, and the second one is uh, undeniable bullshit. There he is, though. That's Danger Mouse. The hit detection on these on on these bubbles is just you. You could be like most of a character sprite away, like a full. This is amazing. I don't know. I have no idea how the hit detection works. Like, sometimes it fires, sometimes it doesn't. I never know why. Oh. Wow. Again, unnecessarily difficult. 
I guess I would def I would describe this as being an unintuitively difficult game. That being a an insult. Like the um. As has been addressed before, uh, here and elsewhere, um, when you die in Castlevania, you know exactly why you died, and it is your fault, and you just need to do better. When you die in a game like this, it is not your fault. It is because the game mechanics are total nonsense and or utterly broken. Well, I've got a bunch of whoopies, so um, uh, there's a good chance I can exit this region. Uh, but of course, it's just going to be more of the same, so more driving. Oh, boy. Ooh. This might not be a very long stream today on account of um, uh, I've just been, uh, well, I'm still getting back into the swing of things, etc. I might actually bail soon. Uh huh. Oh man, it's a text adventure. Okay, moving on. Oh, okay. We got a Zelda here. Hmm. Maybe. Oh, you know what? Um, I will be right back. There we go. Ah, this game looks like a mess. Oh, well, I don't know what I expected. Oh, there we go. Um, O, wait, is that O, Q, oh, Q, A, O, P, there we go. Okay, co-op. Where is my character? Oh, okay, there I am. I'm down at the bottom. I think. What? Oh, man. So you just have to be holding the button every time it goes tick. Yeah, I think this is probably a basic game. So I was thinking. Wow, this is, um... This is dismal. I'm just trying to get to that double square in the upper left because I feel like that's probably an objective. And then I'm done with this game. The B might be the objective. I don't know. I think I lost. Okay, yeah, this game is bad. 
Th that was Dangerous Garden. This is Dangerous Gardens. Gardens, I should say. Featuring the sparrows. Um. Whoa. Wait, I lost? Oh, okay, I'm the thing in the middle. I'm like, a bottle? What? Oh, Gibbs, you okay? Gibbs just tried to jump up my, on my lap, realized he had miscalculated, and uh, just sort of fell back down off of the chair. Um, Gibbs, are you okay? Hello? He's going to try and get up again. Uh, let's try this one more time. Boy, what a mess. Wow, okay, that sucks. kind of a bop. Wow, yeah, not bad. So I'm the, like, pair of lips there, which, yeah, that scans. Um, I've got two different types of jumps. I have a low jump and a high jump. So this is one of those Spectrum um, sort of platform games where the whole goal is just to... Uh, well, it's like Castlevania, right? In the sense that a lot of it is a movement challenge. But man, this is tough. It's basically all pixel perfect. Like... Oh, wow, okay, yeah, this game sucks. Um, yeah, there we go. Gibbs is here, everyone, again. Oh, I'll rub this kitty. Please don't mess up my keyboard, Gibbs. Yep, he's he's going to go up now. At least he's laying over to the side. There's Gibbs. There he is. This cat. All right, Gibbs, lay down. Lock creature. Dados. Hmm. Yeah, micro hobby. Weren't they Japanese? Or am I thinking of something else? No, they must be, uh... Oh, Spanish? Okay, um... Kempston... Dugar. This is Danger Ship. Oh, this is rough. Oh, no. Um, why is he not moving? Okay, well, I can tell what kind of game this is, though. An infinitely m massive... Uh, oh, you know, open exploration game where you can die and lose all your progress. Uh, and it, wow, does it run slow. Okay. Uh, you know what, everyone? I think I might actually be kind of out of it for the day. Um, 
I don't think I got uh, the best sleep last night, and I'm kind of drifting. So I think I'm going to call it for now. Um, just sort of wanted to get back into it because I haven't been doing streams for a while. So uh, thank you all for joining. Uh, and uh, next week I'll probably do a longer one. Hope everyone's having a good weekend. Uh, and uh, hopefully I'll get back to doing some bigger videos in the near future. i got to go back and start going through stuff. So, um Take it easy, folks.